Hi you guys, if you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious one pan chicken and rice with black beans, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is season our chicken. I have some bone in and skin on chicken thighs. And I'm gonna season this with some Sazon, which is one of my favorite seasonings to use, especially on chicken. So I'm gonna be using two packets of that, along with some salt, some pepper, some onion powder and some garlic powder we want to make sure that we season up our chicken thighs really really well um chicken thighs is one of my favorite cuts of meat to use because you can't really mess it up <laughs> you can't dry it out like you could with a chicken breast or a chicken wing all right so now we're going to move on to the stove i have my cast iron skillet here that is really really hot i have about a tablespoon or so of vegetable oil and i'm going to put my chicken thighs in the pan skin side down so we can get a nice golden brown color on on the top all right so we're going to be cooking these for maybe two minutes or so on both sides we're not trying to cook our chicken all the way through we just want to get a nice sear on both sides all right so one side is done we're going to go ahead and turn them over and sear them again on the other side for another two minutes All right, so once our chicken is seared on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and remove them from our pan, just like so. Just put them on a plate and set them to the side so we can move on to our next step. I'm using some frozen onions here, not a whole lot, maybe about a fourth a cup or so of chopped onions. And then we're gonna go ahead and give that a good stir, making sure that we scrape all of those yummy bits from the bottom of our pan from when we seared our chicken. So we're gonna cook our onions for maybe a minute or two um, until they're nice and soft and tender. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic. I'm adding about half a tablespoon or so. You can use as much or as little as you would like. We're gonna give that a good stir for about 30 to 45 seconds or so because we don't want to burn our garlic. So now for the rice, I'm using some Vigo yellow rice, which is absolutely delicious. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the pan and give it a good stir. This rice is gonna be soaking up all of those delicious flavors that we have been building so far from when we seared our chicken and the onion and the garlic, um, just all of those delicious flavors. So we're just gonna to toast our rice for a couple of minutes. So once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and add our water per the instructions on the back of the packet. Some of you may want to use a chicken stock at this stage, but I would definitely be careful with that. Maybe use a low sodium chicken stock um, because this rice is already really, really flavorful. So you don't want to add something that has a lot of sodium in it, okay? You don't wanna make your rice salty. Trust me, I have done that before <laughs> using this rice. So um, less is more when it comes to this. Um, this product okay so you guys saw me add in one can of black beans that I drained and rinsed off and now I'm adding my chicken thighs back to my pan just like so my oven is preheated at 350 degrees we're going to go ahead and cover this with foil make sure that you cover it really really well because we want that steam to get trapped and cook our rice and our chicken thoroughly okay so we're going to cook this for approximately 35 to 40 minutes and then for the last two minutes or so, you want to remove the foil and put your oven on broil so you can crisp up the skin of your chicken thighs. And there you have it, you guys. My easy and delicious one pan chicken and rice with black beans. This meal is so delicious. It is so filling and super easy to make. I don't know about you guys, but if I can't think of anything to make for dinner, one of my go-tos is chicken rice and beans <laughs> and some cornbread on the side so the chicken thighs are cooked perfectly and that sazon really really comes through the rice is just packed full of flavor and the black beans just bring everything together super delicious you guys and i hope you give this recipe a try i hope this meal can also become one of your family staples as well I also wanted to take this time to thank you guys so, so much for making my first one pan chicken and rice video get to 1 million views. I cannot believe it. I am still in awe and I am still shocked <laughs> and I am humbled by you guys' support. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. I hope you enjoyed this recipe just as much as you did the first one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next one. Until then. Bye.